first of all, uh, thanks for the opportunity for Hindustan uh, Unilever presenting, uh, you know, our quality best practices, how, you know, you can adopt uh, things. Like that. I'll just take you through a few things which we are, as a FMCG company, we are trying to do and uh, what is our thought process on uh, zero defect and what we are trying to do to minimize defect levels in our supply chain. So, uh, the content is like, you know, we have, uh, you know, what is the uh, defect, zero defect mission for us, what is our winning mindset and how we are uh, going about in, uh, monitoring the uh, APIs. Uh, example on uh, that, that we are uh, trying to do it at our uh, supply chain. So uh, this will help us uh, uh, some initiatives on uh, uh, quality defect elimination. Uh, coming to Unilever as a parent company, as you are aware, Unilever started with sunlight stove. So what we have seen is that sunlight soap when it got, you know, sold in uh, UK, uh, they had a claim of if you bring any impurities in the soap, it is about 90, 80, 90 years back, you will be rewarded 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds 80, 90 years back is huge money. This, that is the mindset, that is the DNA of Unilever with respect to quality culture. So, uh, you can see, that those time itself, people were you know, focusing on how product can help the community, how can product can serve in each and every individual, and how you know plant can be uh, planet can be protected. So soap making is one of the process where you, you can see that glycerin is normally let out to the dry, but Lever Brothers they can't leave that, so they have captured all the byproducts and they made glycerin out of it. So they have not discharged to the while it is glycerin is the you know while environmental friendly they have not done that. They have started the glycerin okay. manufacturing. Okay, so this is the DNA of our Hindustan Universe or Unilever as a parent company. So quality so quality means doing right when no one is looking at it. So at least our statement is we buy things and we do on, on all our operations we try and do uh, our best. And this is what the culture we are generating across the uh, suppliers, our job workers, uh, our shop floor people as well as you know the uh, logistic and, uh, and you know delivery uh, delivery channels. Okay, so zero defect, what are our targets that we are trying to take is zero defect at possible levels, what are our objectives? Though it be, you know, procurement, though it be, you know, our jumper, though it be a loading and unloading operation, what are all can be a defect, so we identify the try and minimize. Uh, loss of production, consumer compliance, uh, you know, cross ingress, any quality incidents, wastages, so these are all our targets internally. It is embedded as one of the KPIs. You know, when you when we talk about the broader KPI and it is, you know, uh, finally each and every department will have their own KPIs and try and uh, focus, start monitoring this and focus on uh, improvements. That's how we are taking it up. So if you see, if you interact with uh, many management bureaus in what they say is, if you take top three defects and you work on top three defects and reduce 30 percentage year on year, you will be a world class company in next three to four years. So this is what we are also trying to do, trying to follow and trying to try and do a lot of quality initiatives. Okay, so as a company, Hindustan Lever as a company, what is our KPI looks like? If you look at the consumer compliance, where the number, ideal number has to be zero, but I you know that's what this is the monitoring again. Marketplace instance, in house, whatever 
during processing, during manufacturing, packing, what are all, you know, greenhouse related uh, holes, freezers are happening. So those things are monitored. Inbound suppliers, so we encourage and monitor, we encourage quality improvement at supplier as well and we also monitor their performance at our incoming stage. So, uh, supplier non-performance. So, defect levels at factory, depot, on shelf. So, that is the level we are, we are trying to do our, our own monitoring. Uh, looking at end to end supply chain, yes. So, first to focus on zero defect, we should start monitoring certain things. Or if you look at end to end supply chain from supplier to uh, on shelf, what are all parameters we are monitoring uh, is you know given here. So, suppliers, each and every supplier is you know uh, having uh, their own uh, performance certifications, okay. Uh, uh, E incident as a performance indicator for them. Uh, if you look at the factories, number of things at, from starting from incoming stage, at job, job order end, manufacturing stage, packing end, and we have lot of uh, you know every leg of our process we have defined uh, KPIs for the respective team. Uh, if you look at why we are trying to train and doing this because we strongly believe as per Hendrik's premise, we see that so this is quite applicable for safety and very much applicable for quality as well. If you look at the bottom, if we focus on the bottom, bottom is the wastages. Incoming, if we are reducing on the bottom on wastages, automatically our defect levels will go down. So that's our belief. So any non-conformance at incoming stage, every processes, any wastages, we are trying to reduce it, and that will result as you know uh, good uh, uh, quality performance in depot level, uh, at uh, RS point level, at on shelf level. That's what we believe, and that's what giving us results as well. So uh, when, uh, when a company with a purpose, everyone will like, so society will like, communities will like, community will prefer you as the, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, good company, good product, so the customers will prefer, consumers will prefer. This is our, our mindset and we, we always approach with the same mindset. Any defect is eliminatable if we are approaching that methodology. Okay, coming to uh, how the framework of quality defect elimination works for us is there are three things here. First and foremost comes the customer or consumer. What are their requirements? That has to be well understood. Then there is a risk based approach if you look at stage 4 to 9, we should be knowing what are all can be our, uh, you know, uh, 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 risk or what are all can be uh, leading to defects. Those has to be assessed. Accordingly, we will have to embed our quality system, monitoring system. Then it takes and taken forward to implement. So once you start implementing something for monitoring, then only you will be able to uh, start tracking. Then you can you will be able to improvise with uh, with some actions things and then we strongly believe quality culture with people is at most important uh, and uh, that is that without people we will not be able to get results so we train them we adopt them so there is a recent uh, uh, one that everyone should uh, learn real learn and sorry uh, learn unlearn and relearn so this is what we uh, try and do this because world is changing very fast quality systems the uh, improved versions of quality systems are you know changing very fast quickly getting into what is there on our plate for improved quality this is whatever whatever i am going to present is last one and one two years of uh, thing uh, we have raw material lot of raw materials 
water is one of my job. So water monitoring is very much critical for us because shampoo is made out of water, comfort surface oil is made out of water. So we have to give utmost care to the water treatment plant. What we have done is we have enabled the IoT device on all our water monitoring system. Now sitting here, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be able to monitor what is my pH, what is my conductivity, what is my turbidity at each and every stage. So the purest of water, what I am ensuring with this IoT enabled device is the purest of water which, is, which meets the standard of cosmetic uh, this one is met at every single minute is what I am ensuring. Okay, what was there earlier, if you look at a person comes in the ship, he takes once in a ship sample, analyzes it and reports logs into the log book. So what has changed? Now IoT enables sends me the data every minute, graphs it for me, sends an alert on my mobile, on my email that it is, if it is within the track or if it is going out of the track, any attention is needed or not. So that is the level we have brought it. Uh, this, uh, this has got standard reports uh, every month, every morning I get standard report of what is the history of uh, the previous day. Wrongly. Look at the cost, waste is getting generated. So, 
this kind of interventions, digital interventions are helping us. So, vision system has been given to us that this is why our rejection is less. One bottle is 400 rupees. If one bottle is rejected, continuously, अगर ऑपरेटर अटेंशन नहीं दिया है, ओके, दस मिनट के लिए, मिनिमम मिनिमम एक हजार बोतल ऐसा इफेक्ट में जेनरेट हो जाएगा, ओके, तो डायरेक्टली चार लाख हमारा वेस्टेज है, ओके, चार लाख तो भी हमारा वेस्टेज है, तो ये हमारा ये अभी बहुत सारा सिस्टम विजन सिस्टम अवेलेबल है मार्केट में, आप यूज कर सकते हैं एक कैमरा तीन लाख के अंदर आता है तो ये सिस्टम है एक मेशर करने के लिए फ्रंट एंड बैक मेशर करने के लिए हमारा आता है टोटल छह लाख छह लाख रुपया हाँ एम आर के ऊपर बोला एग्जाम्पल बोल रहा था अगर मेक कास्ट में लग गया तो उसमें से पकड़ लीजिए सत्तर परसेंटेज पकड़ लीजिए ओके तो एक इज मीन्स टू पॉइंट वन लैक इज वेस्टेड थे साल भर चर्चा रहेगा मैनुअल इंटरवेंशन का जरूरत नहीं है प्रोजेक्शन सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली करेगा अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम है ये वीडियो सॉरी इसमें वो कैन यू हेल्प मी टू वीडियो कोडिंग डिफेक्ट वी आर अल्मोस्ट जीरो वी आर जीरो लेकिन सही ना पहले वो मिसिंग मिसिंग इश्यूज आ रहे थे वो भी बंद हो गया बहुत बंद अभी अगर आ गया तो भी वो रिजेक्ट कर देगा इट विल नॉट गो टू सर्जिमल Can 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 you play this video? This is one system. I'll just explain you. Hindustan Unilever is one company which makes lot of shashes for hair, hair shampoo. So shampoo shashes. What used to be the previous practice? People used to squeeze and test the lip test, vacuum test. Operator will not have will not have time to access the lab to test. Okay, that, so this was the issue. Now, operators themselves have designed a very good system that the compression plate how automatically can check entire mat of the sachets in within one minute. Okay, so I'll tell you another bad practice. Uh, people used to, people used to uh, put it on the floor, put a sheet on top of it and try and, you know, walk over that. So those were the practice. Uh, in, uh, uh, one year back. So this is the system which uh, designed by our own operators. Their complete entire mat, entire sachets, in that 196 sachets tested within two minutes time. No, I'm 
So automation, yes, automation, sir, uh, automation in manufacturing is taking to next level. All manufacturing mixers and uh, uh, everything is automated now. Now it is, we are turning it to all control uh, room managed system. Plus, lot of A is you know man helping us every operator to manage the uh, man manufacturing systematically and uh, without any defects. So Checkware is helping us uh, end of life. I want to sh share that this this one is lift and key is about weighs around 1.2 gram. The T. With all with that also you know we are able to if let's say it is going fill fill get missed or low fill level is observed that can also get rejected. So I have a Checkware which works at 0.5 plus or minus 0.5 0.5 gram accuracy. So quality one is a digital platform where all our documents, all our procedures, all our standards are stored. This is one repository for us, not only for us, it is for the supplier, it is for end to end the people who are managing, it is available for them. Uh, this is something new, digital voice of consumer. So technology is enabling us to analyze data. Uh, so if you look at the old age practice is that someone uh, picks up the call and say that uh, I, I have this complaint and liver their uh, executive writes down in their uh, log or in their uh, computer. Then if that is that consumer stress more on that, it gets escalated, it comes to central team or someone to further attention. Now what happens? Now the data once it is goes into the system directly it is diverting into the respective plan and we get to see that what action we should do. Is there a is there a complaint or is there a some sentiment to it or is there a suggestion, is there a query or is there any price for our pro our product? So this uh, DVOC is enabling us now. We, we, we need not to analyze any data, it is automated again. This also gives us very good data and sense of the report. So, for the best, so uh, I wish every industry uh, to be the best in their uh, field and uh, be a preferred supplier, preferred manufacturer. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.